corner, Mike Walker on the flag stand, gonna cross him up. Next time by 30 laps of distance for the Allen's coffee flavored brandy of Lux Sportsman. Scotty Duval on the point. Bill Ahern outside. Set to lead him down to Chief Starter, Mike Walker's green flag, 30 laps the distance. Flag in the air, Mike Walker likes what he sees, and we're underway. Ahern gets the jump on Duval, but Duval runs him over through one and two. Duval's around, pinballs into it, rocket Rob McRae is around, caution, flag is out. Scotty Duval and Bill Ahern get into it. Turn one on the first lap, Duval is around, pinball was an innocent bystander in car number 65. Looks like every car is gonna be able to get back underway. Rocket Rob McRae is back underway. Looks like Duval and car number 15 is going to get back underway as well. Wilmot to the rear of the field. He was in, involved in that caution. Green flag set to fly. We're back underway. Allen's up. Was a green. Ahern in the 51 car gets the jump on Chuck Daney. Daney slow on the outside groove. That allows George Maroon in car 26 to sneak by. Maroon in car 26 has had a couple nice runs the last few times he's been out. He's looking for his first win of the year. Now Chuck Daney on the outside groove, went losing tons of spots in car number 33, the Rocket. Rod Bolduck in the 95 sneaks by, the 94, his teammate Joey Ventrilo sneaks by. Back up front, Bill Ahern leading his first laps of the 2015 season. Battle for the third spot now. Here comes the bulldozer, Rod Bulldock in car number 95. Bulldock's looking to go two for two and two in a row. Last Saturday night, he took the Big John DeBarrow Memorial 59 lapper. Now he's starting to work his way to the front in car number 95. Raymond back to fourth in car number 27. Joey Ventrillo rounds out your top five as they run. Now Ventrillo gonna go low on Barry Raymond. Raymond and Ventrillo side by side for the fourth spot. Give the fourth spot to Joey the Jet Ventrillo in car number 94. Raymond slides back into the fifth spot. Back up front, Bill Ahern in the Tink Pro Motors sponsored car number 51 looking for his first win of the 2015 season. Ahern looking pretty good in car number 51 after some bad luck last Saturday night looking to get back into victory lane tonight. Second place, still George Maroon. Maroon doing a nice job in car 26. Keep an eye on the team cars. The 95 of Bulldog and the 94 of Ventrilo. They're starting to reel in your leaders. Teammates in 95 and 94, right on the back bumper of the 26 of George Maroon now. Further back in the field, the Rocket Rob McRae after some bad luck in car number 52, trying to work his way back up. He sneaks by the 65 of Steve Wilmore over the 8th spot. Now he's going to go to work on the 15 to Duval. Now Ron Bolduck gets underneath George Maroon for the 2nd spot. Number 95, Ronnie Bolduck. Had to slam the brakes on as Maroon slammed the door shut in car number 26. Maroon hanging on to that 2nd spot for one more lap. Bolduck now is going to try to make another move in car number 95. They have caught your leader, Bill Ahern, in the 51 car. Bulldock looking for a way by the 26 of Maroon. He had the underneath of the two laps ago, but had to back out of it. He's going to try it one more time. Maroon running a tough lane to pass in car number 26. Joey Ventrillo continues to run in the fourth position on the racetrack in car number 94. And point leader Barry Raymond in the 27 car is still in that fifth spot. Bulldock now through the dirt. Car number 95 down the back straightaway. Does he have what it takes this time? Not so fast, George Maroon still hanging on in car number 26. Maroon making it extra difficult for the 95 of Bulldog to get by. Ventrilo in the 94 car in the catbird seat, waiting for a mistake from the two in front of him so he can sneak by and try to get the 51 of a hurt. 
The Hearn still has a pretty good advantage over the second spot of George Maroon. About two and a half car lengths right now for your leader, Bill Hearn. Bolduck absolutely hounding the 26 of George Maroon now, looking for a way by. Maroon still protecting that bottom side. But Bolduck really wants to get in there, and he might not have this back in physical. That time, Maroon slipped up the racetrack. This is the time that Brad Bolduck might have to keep his foot in it. Maroon tries slamming the door shut, but the door has been opened halfway home, this time by the line, halfway home. Rear leader Hearn. Bolduck into the second spot. George Maroon able to hang on to the third spot, but Ventrilo is going to pressure him now in car number 94. Now can Ron Bolduck reel in your leader, Bill Ahern, and win two in a row in car number 95. Bolduck starting to close down on your leader. Good battle heating up to that third spot now. Joey Ventrilo in the 94 car putting the pressure to the 26 of George Maroon. Back up front now, Bolduck has caught your leader, Ron Bolduck now, looking for a way by your leader, trying to take the top spot and win two main events in a row in the Allen's Outlaws. Ahern goes up the racetrack that time, allows Bolduck to look low. Bolduck unable to get the job done that time. Once more now, Bolduck and Ahern, a little bit of contact that time. Ahern sideways, Bolduck let him gather it up, we stay green, and Ahern is still your leader in car number 51. Joey Ventrillo now starting to get a little physical with the 26 of George Maroon. Ventrillo wants to crack the podium. This time by 10 fingers in the air from Chief Starter Mike Walker. 10 laps to go. Bolduck now through the dirt one more time. Ron Bolduck is a wheel man. He will put two tires in the dirt if he has to. Once more look low. That time got a little bit sideways down the back straightaway and Ahern's able to hang on. Keep an eye on that battle for the third spot as well. Ventrilo is trying all he can do to get by Maroon, but Maroon is hanging on for the moment in car 26. Bolduck applying tons of pressure to your leader Ahern. Ahern's done a heck of a job so far to keep Bolduck at bay. Ahern trying to nail down his first win in the Allen's Outlaws in car number 51, but Ron Bolduck has other ideas in car 95. Bolduck shadowing Ahern around the tight quarter mile bull ring here in Epic, New Hampshire. Now Bolduck thinking about going high on your leader Ahern. Bolduck looks to the top side. Now more contact between your leaders. Bolduck and Ahern almost into the front stretch wall that time. Caution flag in the air. Eric Sands in the 09 is around. Eric Sands in car 09 around. Looks like he's back underway. Things are starting to heat up in the closing stages of the Allen's Outlaws main event. Ron Bolduck hounding your leader Ahern. Tried going topside and almost took both of them out of this one. This could get very interesting in the closing six laps of the Allen's Outlaw main event. Raymond in the 27 down pit road as well as the 09 of Eric Sands. The Rocket Rob McRae in the 52 car is sneaking up to the top five as well. Green flag back in the air. Allen's copy favorite radio. Lost sports in the back. Bolduck and Ahern side by side through turns one and two down the back straightaway. Bolduck trying to inch in front. Car number 95. Ahern's got the bottom side. Bolduck's working the outside group. Good hard racing at the top spot. The Allen's up one main event. Bolduck sticking with him on the outside groove in car number 95, but Ahern's got the bottom side to his advantage. George Maroon sitting right there in third in car number 26. Maroon's waiting for a mistake. He wants a shot of winning this one. Winning a classic night is a big thing for these drivers in the Allen's Outlaws. As you can tell, they are putting their hearts on the line right now. Bolduck unable to get the run he needs on the straightaways. Give the lead, sole possession of the lead, back to the 51 of Bill Ahern. Ahern. Still hanging on, he's got three more circuits. See if he can nail down his first win of 2015. Two laps remain at the line, this time by two to go for your leader, Ahern. Bolduck starting to lose ground in car number 95. George Maroon sitting right there in third. Now Maroon's gonna go underneath Bolduck. George Maroon in the George's Bakery 26, looking low on Ron Bolduck. White flag in the air, this time by for your leader, Ahern. One more trip around, can he hang on? What a race Ahern has run tonight. 
Down the back straight away for the final time. He's going to get through turns three and four, and he can call this one his first win of 2015. Classic day. Alan Zumwalt goes to Villa Hearn in the 51, second to Bulldog, third to Jordan Maroon, fourth to Ventrilo, and the 52. The Rocket Rob McRae rounds out your top five. We'll head trackside. All right, he's climbing out of the car now. He can hear a big round of applause. Your winner today in the Allen's Outlaw, Wild Bill Ahern. Oh, God. <laughs> God, I got to spread the cage. <laughs> right. Got an act of God to get him out of the car. We're going to catch a word with him. All right, we're with Bill Ahern down here tonight. What a job you did tonight holding off Bullduck there. You were able to hang on on that last restart, and you collect the checkered flag here on Classic Day. Tell us how this one feels. Uh, it actually feels pretty good. Uh, i got to dedicate this to my son, Billy, who's turned 17 today, but teenager doesn't want to come with us. And then uh, my other son, Patrick, i got in the back of the car here. Lost him a year ago uh, next week. So I don't wish Rob was in here, but Rob's... Uh, Car, he sponsors the Purple Project, and I live in Bill Ricker, and that's part of the problem. So, but uh, I got to thank Louis, wherever he is, around somewhere, probably down the pits. I got to thank Louis. Louis taught me a lot over the years, get things going, and uh, you know, sometimes you get down, he kind of kicks you in the butt and gets you going. Then Recon, Kingsborough Motors, Pete, I won't forget you, McClellan, Dolly, you know, all these other guys. Derek, I hope you do good. You too, Jeremy. Uh, Butchie, Billy, uh, Mike, Mike's standing away behind me. I can't see him. And, uh, oh, whew. Oh, Mal's. I'm not usually down here that much. So I got Mal's. He's stuck with me through the years. My wife. Uh, what else are you doing? Yeah, my wife. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, you guys. Yeah. Somebody tell me. All right, you win it today on Classic Day. Car number 51, Wild Bill Ahern. All right, we're going to catch up with our second place finisher. Nice round of applause for the guy. He was working his tail off behind the 95. Comes home second today, car number 95, Ron Bulldock. Well, Ron, you were trying to get two in a row there after winning the big John last Saturday night. Looked like the car might have started going away at the, after that last restart, but you come home with another solid finish. Tell us about your run. Well, I was taking it easy on Bill. You know, he's never won, so <laughs> we, we, we'll give him that one. <laughs> Um, no, it was a good race. I broke the car in the first practice, and, and my crew and my teammate Joey, and they all uh, had to put it back together. I ran to Haverhill to pick up pots and come back, and they got it together. And it was good. So we're happy with second. We'll take it. All right, second place today, car number 95, Ron Bulldock. And third place today, first time talking to this guy this year. Nice round of applause for car number 26, George Maroon. Well, George, you were right in that battle for the win at the end there. It looked like you tried to get under Ronnie, but you ran out of laughs. But a solid third place today. Tell us about your run. Oh, we're very happy with the run today. I mean, we've been fighting this car all year. And, and finally, the past few races, we've got it close. And uh, i got to thank my guys, my brother Emo, my, my buddy Tim, and uh, Slicker for working on this car. It's been real. Uh, it's been much better than the beginning of the season. So we're pretty happy with it now. All right, third place today. Good to see this guy have a nice run. Car number 26, George Maroon.